We are in my kitchen and we're going to make my lamb ragu recipe. I make this at least once a week. My kids love it, my husband loves it, I love it. And if you are entertaining, it's the perfect recipe. So you wanna have a Dutch oven. You can do it in a slow cooker, but honestly, my mom told me this trick. The Dutch oven or a cast iron pot just adds such a deeper flavor. So ideally have one of these. And you can either do your lamb on or off the bone. On the bone, again, it's such a deeper flavor, but it is easier off the bone. Now you want to be just using one pot for this entire recipe. Number one, less washing up, we love that. And number two, you're going to contain all of the flavors in one place. I'm using a lamb shoulder here. I asked for the smallest one at the butcher and as you can see, it's not going to fit nicely with the lid on. So I'm just gonna chop it up. Also, is it weird that I keep my favorite knife in its box? It's because my husband, Kurt, he bought me this knife for my birthday. It was very expensive, so he makes me keep it in the box. So don't blame me, it's my husband's fault. This is my sharpest knife. We're gonna see how we go. I'm just gonna take the leg off. Cool, we're gonna sear that separately. Hopefully this will fit. Yes. Okay, great. Let's wash our hands and get cooking. I personally love flaky sea salt, and I just think it tastes better. I love those sharp chunks of salt. Pepper. Then I just like to press it into the meat, just making sure it's sticking. I like to get the pot hot first before I add any oil or butter. I will chop and change between ghee and olive oil. So I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit, and then we'll add our glug. I'm gonna add a generous drizzle or a glug of olive oil. Hi, Foxy. He's been upstairs. We're gonna start off with the biggest part of the lamb. Hi, Fox. You excited for dinner? Yeah. Yes. Yum. We're gonna do this part after. This is a leg of lamb. Oh, it's like, actually, no, it's an arm. It's an arm of lamb. Is it from a chicken? It's from a lamb. Oh, a lamb day. Yes. Oh. We're having lamb ragu. I'm gonna let that sear until it's really nice and brown. I just want it to be sealed all the way over. So at least five minutes, maybe even 10. So while we wait for that to sear, we're gonna prep our other veggies. Okay. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I hate washing up. If I can do a recipe that's one pot, one chopping board, that's what I'm gonna do. You wanna help me? Yeah. yeah? So you're just gonna peel, but be careful of your fingers. I'm gonna be tactical. We're gonna do our garlic first. You're doing so good. Okay, ready? Are you ready for the best part? Oh, ready? can I Come. do it? Can I do it? It's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. You need two hands. Come closer. Seesaw, maybe. Can you seesaw? You seesaw. Good, thank you. Let's check Wait, our lamb. Oh, it smells good. That. That's what you want. Hopefully you can hear me, there's a lot of sizzling going on. We're gonna do our best to sear it, but it's a hard cut of meat. Are you ready to cry? No. It's about to get teary in here. <laughs> now you, you do this, that one looks perfect. Thank you, that now, looks great. I can do this one, okay? Yep, you do that one. So actually, let's do our herbs while Fox is in the building. We'll kick him out soon. Don't worry. What did what? you say? What, I didn't say anything. Nothing. See you, mommy. See you, prepared. See you guys, I love you. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's tidy this a little bit and then we'll reconvene. Yeah. Okay, let's do our onion while I don't have a child around me. Oh, don't speak too soon. Hello. <laughs> You can take that. We are now one celery stalk short, so that's okay. Lucky it's rustic cooking. If there's two cooking utensils or kitchen appliances I would invest in, it's a good knife and a good fry pan. I'm in the process of getting rid of all of my plated stuff and I'm going to transfer everything to stainless steel because it's so much better for you. Just creates such richer, deeper flavors in food. Okay, we're gonna remove the last part of our lamb. Where is my wooden spoon? I have a bad feeling that it's in my... 
<laughs> Where is my wooden spoon? That's it. The recipe's over. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Surely every home cook just has one wooden spoon. I need a new one. I've honestly had this since I was like 21 and I'm 30. She's from Kmart and I'm gonna have her for like 50 years. We're gonna dice this up into little cubes. What I love about a ragu is it is kind of a rustic dish. So you don't have to be perfect with your chopping. Cooking, there's no rules. Don't let anyone bully you into thinking there's rules because there's not. Normally I would just do one large carrot, but because there's so much lamb, I'm just gonna kind of double it in certain areas. So there's two carrots, and then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five stalks of celery, which was gonna be six, but we both know what happened to that one. Oh, look at that, perfect timing. And it's also picked up all of those little bits of lamb, so not only is it gonna be flavorful with the onion and the garlic and the olive oil, but it tastes like a lamb now. Celery also adds a really nice saltiness. And then obviously our carrots are gonna add some more sweetness. There's something so wholesome and homey about the simple combination of garlic, onion, carrot, and celery. It just reminds me of like my grandma's cooking. These are the kind of recipes I love making in my own kitchen. Onto our herbs, I'm gonna go in with fresh Rosemary, I'm a heavy herb girl. The more herbs, the better in my book, especially rosemary, like I just, you can't overdo it. You just can't. I'm also gonna go in with some fresh thyme. You can go in with some oregano, but I don't have any. So just thyme and rosemary for us today. What I like to do is I mix my herbs together in a ball, and then I'll put it in my hand and smell it because how it smells is a really good indication of how it's gonna taste. So to me, that's a nice little balance. We're gonna chuck that into our saucepan. I'm going to add another generous fingerful of salt. I told him if he let me cook, I would give him an Easter egg, but he's just too excited. He's saying, can I have an Easter egg? Can I have an Easter egg? I'm just pretending it's like tinted. I'm what? Who? Someone talking to me? I'm just going to turn this down because we're almost at the end. Like I know lamb ragu sounds like bougie and difficult and scary. It's so easy, I'm telling you. Once you're done this, hands are off for hours. I am a canned tomato snob. My friend Rima, she got me onto it. I was using like an organic normal brand. It was really watery and she is one of the best cooks I know. And she got me onto this brand and she said it's just so much more rich and flavorful and she's right, I love this brand. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons roughly. I'm gonna add 790 grams of our finely chopped tomatoes. You can just see how rich that looks. I'm just gonna add a little bit at the start. I'm gonna let this get really hot and kind of form a crust on the bottom because then we're gonna deglaze with a little bit of Shiraz. We're gonna add roughly a quarter cup. You can always add more, but you can't add less. So just go little bit by little bit. I also have landscapers out the front. Can you hear that? You guys want a home cooking channel? This is a home cooking channel. We have tradies, we have kids, we have dogs. We're wearing socks. All happening. All right, we're gonna add the rest of our tomatoes. If you were going to wear an apron, this is when you'd want to be popping that bad boy on because it's gonna spurt a little bit. I'm gonna decrease this a little bit. Now I'm going to add beef stock. You can add chicken stock, whatever stock you have on hand. If I am cooking with a red meat, I do prefer a beef stock. I think it works more harmoniously together. This is the fun part. I'm gonna add these whole because I love biting into one once they're blistered and hot and they pop in your mouth. So gently plop these in, otherwise you're going to get it all over your gorgeous yellow shirt because we're all wearing yellow, aren't we? So if you get a little tomato surprise, oh, mm, I love it. All right, let's give it one more taste. Oh, yes. We're gonna add two bay leaves. We'll take this off the heat. Let's start with our little leg. See. see, I really should have gotten it off the bone, but it's just so satisfying. You'll see in a few hours when we can like rip it off the bone. Now pop the lid on and place it in the oven to slow cook for four to six hours on 170 degrees in a fan forced oven. The lamb's been in the oven for around two hours, so I'm just going to flip it over, pop the lid back on and keep it cooking. 
been around three and a half hours and now the lamb is falling off the bone. So I'm just going to push as much as I can off the bone, submerge it into the sauce, pop the lid back on and keep it cooking until we're ready to serve. Okay, it's been around four hours. It's 20 past four. I don't know if you can see that, but just believe me, it's 20 past four. Another reason I love this recipe so much is we eat dinner around 5.30 and I hate a mad rush in the afternoon. It's usually when the kids are tired, there's emotions running high. And so if I can have this all prepped in the day and just add pasta before I'm ready to serve, it just makes our afternoon so much easier. So I'm going in with a tubular pasta today. This is one of my favorites for a ragu because all the little meat and the little pockets of flavor get stuck in the tubes. It's also really kid friendly. Okay, I'm gonna cook this one for six minutes and then just keep taste testing it because you wanna make sure it's al dente. If you overdo it, it's just going to make the whole dish like soggy. You wanna feel al dente is the only way I can explain it. Our lamb has been in since 12 o'clock, so it's 4.30 now. Oh my goodness, guys. This is looking incredible. Oh my goodness, look at that. The bone is completely off the meat. Wow, wow, wow. Also, if we've had a change of lighting, it's obviously becoming nighttime, so we've got the lights on. <gasps> That's perfect. That's perfect. It's like a bounce. That's the word I'm looking for. It has to have a bounce to it. I'm so excited. It's the perfect timing. Look at this. 4.40. The house is still calm. So Fox is currently at jujitsu with Kurt. When they come home, the chaos erupts. So if dinner's ready, it helps for a calmer nighttime routine. Ready for the close up? Dun, 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 dun. Can you hear that? <laughs> Easy. <gasps> See, I came this far. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. This is where we're just gonna mess it up a little bit and any massive chunks of fat, I will try to get out. Again, my mother-in-law gives the best kitchen presents. So she gave me these little spoons and because they're metal, they're just kind of delicate enough to treat the dish with respect, but also rip it apart. I'm not gonna lie, I hardly ever get my bay leaves out. I always forget. By this time, I'm just like too excited. I love serving things in their cooking pot. I just, I love the rustic look. The key to this recipe is the lamb, the pockets of the cherry tomatoes and using a good quality parmesan. So I will go ahead and put some parmesan on the actual pot first. This is just a sneaky pre-thought and then I mix that through. I know it's all the rage to serve pasta in, on plates. I just can't, I can't get around it. I wanna like use the sides to scoop it up. I just don't find it as enjoyable. Oh, get all the saucy bits. Place that on top. Now I like the guest or whoever's eating it to mix it themselves because I think that's like a part of the experience. I usually just put a block of Parmesan in the middle of the table and people can shred how much they want. And then we'll do a little bit of black pepper. Now we give it a taste. Mm. This is wholesome, warm, satisfying, and to top it off, impressive for your guests and your family. Definitely try it out. I know it looks complex, but it's so easy. and something you can chuck in the oven at 11 a.m. and it's ready for 5.30 dinner, if you're like us. Bye. My lamb ragu recipe. I make this, honestly, at least once. <sighs> Makes the di <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll add our glug.